In this video, I'll answer your questions about After Effects and my tools. If you have a question, just email me at support at sonnevondijk.tv so I can answer it with a video like this. Hey Antoine, thanks for asking your question. Let's read it out loud. I'm doing a kind of template with multiple videos of products, okay? I got a general palette with my client colors and I'll add to that the uh, palette with uh, the different specific product colors. So you have one product per video and one color per product. Okay, that keeps things simple. And then what I need is to duplicate all my comps of product one into a product two folder. So he's got true comp duplicator for that. And then change the only one specific color of product one uh, by the one for product two. What would be the best workflow to do that? And it looks like he's got about 88 products that has to do. So it's gonna be a lot of manual labor if you wanna do that all by hand. So so I believe I understand your question and I believe I have a solution for you. So here what I've set up is a quick demo. So currently I have one palette here that has my client colors. And then you were talking about adding your product colors to that palette, but I actually advise you to just create a separate palette for that just to keep things separated. So here I have another palette with the client colors. So imagine that these are like 88 different colors, right? Then I have product one. So this is a composition here. Uh, just says product comma one in here you'll see the client colors in the background and then the one product here in the middle and what i'm going to do is i'm going to color that uh, purple here and i want to make sure that i have my uh, expression links on so that it makes a connection to the palette and then when i click on that layer and i search for color you could see that there's an expression in here uh, from ray now ideally you mentioned that the color needs to update every time you duplicate this composition into a new product. So let's see what happens when I duplicate this. Because when I duplicate this, what After Effects will do is it will increment this number here behind the product. So that goes automatically. I just have to do duplicate it. So ideally, if that happens, I also have that product here choose the second color of my color palette here. So let's try some stuff out. So let's delete uh, product two for now. Let's dive into this expression here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to put that number that you see here in the name into this expression so that we can increment the colors as well as we're incrementing uh, the compositions. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take a look at the expression and what it's actually doing. So here at the end, you can see that ray color palette is basically a variable that's looking at the composition name of the palette. And here it's looking at product colors. So that's the composition it's looking at. Then it's looking at the layer and the it's looking at the first layer. This is why um, you could have many layers with different kinds of palettes, but only the top layer is what's gonna show up in rate number color. Then number four actually represents the effects. And then here it represents what effect it's choosing. So the first effect uh, is gonna be this one over here. This is gonna be number two, three, four. So knowing that, we're just gonna look at this variable and that's over here. And this calculation here puts the correct number in this space over here. So that should mean that if I put one here, then that should also work. And then when I put two in here, it should grab the second color here, white. And that works too. So, well, all we need to do is get the composition number to go in that place here. So what I'm gonna do is uh, first just create a new variable called n, and there will be some expressions involved. And if you don't wanna dig into that, you can just download the project file and make it work that way too. Uh, but I kinda of wanna take you through this so you really understand what's going on here. So first thing I need to do is say this comp, because that will refer to this composition. And then I wanna get its name. And then I don't wanna get its entire name because I only need the number in the end. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type a split and then open and close a bracket. And then I need to tell After Effects what character I'm gonna to use to split the name up with. So let's just open and close some quotes and then type a comma here. Because in this name, I'm using a comma to separate these two. And then what I'm gonna do after that is I'm gonna reference not the first section of the name, which actually is zero, but I'm gonna reference the second section of this uh, name, which happens to be one. So if we take this expression, it's breaking now, but like if we 
take that expression and apply it here to a text layer, what you could see is that it will return number one here. But if I put zero in here like this, it returns product. What we're going to do now is that our expression doesn't work because we need to define what color we want to grab. So instead of typing a number now, what we can do is we can type n. And then something happens because we know that n represents one, but the circle is turning black. So why is that? Now, the reason why this sometimes happens is because one could be a number, but one could also be what's called a string. And a string is just a text character. So you can't obviously calculate, you can't add a plus b because then, you know, those are not numbers. So sometimes you need to take these characters and turn them into calculatable text. And there's a, a expression for that as well. And it's called eval. And when you open and close those brackets and put n in there, then it works. Awesome. Just to recap, we wrote a new part to the expression to grab the number from the comp. And then we plug that right into uh, what effect it should go get on the color palette. Let's duplicate this comp and see what happens. Cool. So now we can see that the product has turned white, which is the second color. And if I duplicate it once more, it turns light pink. And if I duplicate it once more, and I could just keep going on. And what you could see now is that it just goes through my entire color palette. And that's how I can actually get all these different comps with different colors. And then over here, what I can do is I can go into the color palette and any point in time, I can just change these colors to say red, for example. And then over here, there should be a red color in here somewhere. Ah, here it is, color five. So yeah, at that point, you know, I could, if this is a specific product, I can always like keep track of all my product colors over here but then all my compositions will always update. Another cool thing is that, you know, you can easily duplicate comp five, but then just give it the same name. So you have a different, you know, product. Maybe this is a small version or something of the composition, but you could still keep five at the end and it will still grab that same color. So you could have two compositions that both grab that same color. So this is a really cool trick. And I hope that it helps you out with your workflow. And I hope that I understood your question correctly. Comment on the video if you have further questions. You can find more answers on my YouTube channel and also on the resources page of each After Effects tool I created. If you create an account there, you can find lots of other resources and download project files as well. And if you're ready to take your skills to the next level, you can also find education courses and free tutorials right there. Keep learning and take care.